Hey everybody, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. The cred campaign. That's Cthulhu Rises, Everyone Dies. Uh, and that's all I had for tonight. So uh let's get going. Sounds good. No, I'm kidding. We we have to do the other stuff. I'm sorry, Ernie. Uh guys, follow us on Twitch, follow us on YouTube, take a look at our YouTube archives. Uh no, follow us on Twitter, then take a look at our YouTube archives. I've got it. I've got it. I've You're lost sure about what that. I'm saying right now. Guys, if you want to figure out what uh, horrible things I'm going to do to these people tonight, go ahead and join us on Discord. Or if you actually want to join in, you can't join in on the campaign until I kill one of these people, which will be Bran tonight. Uh, I will need someone to take oh. his place. What are you pointing at? That is a lovely beak there, Bran. It, it looks gorgeous. Anyway. It looks so <laughs> dark tonight. He does. Like half yeah. your face is black, like in black. It's like he's in a cave or it's like something. Like you need a little more light on yourself. The other side is the side that's really dark. Eh, that's better. <laughs> anyway, oh gosh, I've lost track of everything right now. Guys, if you want to uh, uh, listen to us talk about things that are happening that you can't see and not look at the visual gags you can hit us up on the uh, uh podcast the link is down below also if you want to buy some awesome merch you can buy some i'm not uh oh kyle did i freeze yes, you I did. did for like a couple seconds okay good 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 you're okay all right we have merchandise cred awesome stuff calamity other awesome stuff uh and then we'd like to thank our sponsors pirate dog dice uh, proof that you can polish a turd into a d20 uh, and these players will still roll a natural one and just release the stink everywhere uh, and when that stink is unleashed may i suggest going over to adventure sense and covering it up with putrid sewers or carol's choleric fence post jesus christ it's a hint of mahogany and fish uh, not this carol by the way a different carol entirely obviously don't be don't be rude people uh i do and there will be a new are... one riley's potato stew oh 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 my god that would be a really good suggestion but what would it smell like like shit <laughs> i feel like are cheese, they all rotten onion potatoes? garlic potatoes it should be and rotten like potatoes. poison somewhere poison. and and poison yeah and there's poison. a little arsenic in there a little arsenic yeah <laughs> for flavor <laughs> Uh, I do believe their Kickstarter is over at this point. Uh, the last time we talked about it, they had 48 hours. So there still might be time how to RPG with your cat. Uh, as demonstrated last uh, Murder Hobo Con. Kyle, you said last Murder Hobo Con. Is there going to be a next Murder Hobo Con? Yes, there is. February 13th and 14th. Uh, Murder Hobos are going to steal your heart away and leave you in an ice bath. Anyway, uh, <laughs> wow, it's normal, guys. It's absolutely normal. Uh, other than that, I suppose we could just introduce people. But, you know, I just had a question. Uh, what are you guys' favorite movie monsters? Let's start with you, Ernie. Mine personally is the werewolf. But but what are you thinking, Ernie? What uh, how are you doing? The, introduce the most recent horror movie that I actually watched was The Thing. So I, I think oh. that is right now top of mind. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So uh, this ooze plays right into that. <laughs> Perfect. Carol, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? And what horror monster just stands out to you all the time? I don't know, but one of my favorite horror movies was, I like Bram Stoker's Dracula, so I love Dracula. Um, and by the way, as for the introduction, hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter who has her own Twitch team where I paint minis and talk about whatever, geeky stuff or whatever, uh, under, uh, what the hell am I under? Muses underscore touch. That's where I am on Twitch. Uh, and for this, I play Anja Yeager. <clears throat> Let's see if Kyle can get it right tonight. Uh, I am a half elven. I am a half elven. <laughs> ranger who's uh, at three dread and probably gonna go insane tonight yep 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 that is what we are hoping for and then we kill your character no. uh next jake 
Jake, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your character, and uh, yeah, yeah, no, what horror movie monster uh, sticks to your mind? Uh, okay, yeah, um, I'm Jake. I'm a D and D noob here, learning all kinds of neat and interesting things with the, the crew. Um, I'm playing Merrick Miss Meadow, a halfling rogue who's a cartographer and is way in over his head already. Um, one session <laughs> <Yeah>. in, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I don't do a lot of horror movies, but I do have a soft spot for the uh, the aliens, the xenomorphs from the Alien series. Oh gosh, yeah, no, those guys are creepy too. I just yeah. watched Alien for the first time, and watching that alien come out on the life pod, like, no, Ripley, no, it's the ultimate killing machine. <laughs> it is. And finally, uh, last and certainly least, because he took the observant feat, and I will uh, kill oh him. Oh my for God, that. you're so butt hurt. I'm not butt hurt. Yes, I'm you are. vengeful and vindictive. <laughs> and everyone will see that here very soon. Uh, we have DJ. DJ, who are you playing tonight? And uh, yeah, what movie monster stands out to you? Hello, I'm DJ. I am playing Bran, the human. Uh, monk way of the mercy uh, movie monster it's actually kind of difficult for me uh i think the one that comes to mind first has to be freddy krueger uh because he attacks you in your Fair. nightmares but also he's the funniest that's I mean, fair. yeah okay yeah, he just no, has no, a no, good no. time doing it he does you gotta admire that about both a villain and a monster you got to enjoy what you do. Otherwise, you know, why are you doing it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's perfect. That was a noise, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah. sure whose end it was on, but hey. It was um, Frank. It was always Frank. It's uh, always Frank. Yeah, he's now, always my, at fault. Absolutely. Now, I said my favorite movie monster is the wolf man, the werewolf. But to be oh. truthful... Anytime I think of any sort of movie monster, my head immediately goes to Doug Jones uh, from my Ulmer model over at Ball State. Uh, uh, you would know him as Abe Sapien in the Hellboy series, uh, Pan's Labyrinth, you know, he does all that stuff. And then the one movie monster that sticks out to me, uh, the ice cream man from the movie Legion where he just starts growing these spiderly arms and, he's going, ah! and then he starts running up and trying to kill people. Didn't they make a TV show based off that movie called Dominion now? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't either. And now I have to go watch it if that is true. Yeah, I think it's a sci-fi original. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 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 if anybody ever gets a chance for sci-fi originals, watch the Cyclops. But make sure you get the original oh, version God. of it. I don't know. We playing it. Frank wants to know if we're playing tonight. But yes, that I know what he's saying. It is so bad. It's hilarious. But then they edited it and they took out some of the really bad parts that they should have left in that made it worthwhile watching. Well, anyway, I, I just bring this up because I just imagined these this ice cream man. And as Anja, Anya, Anja. Anja. Just Any remember Ganja. Ganja. I really should, Anja. but it never works for me. Yeah. Anja, you <coughs> and the rest of you all heard something moving in the lava tubes as you're kind of climbing on these upside down toadstools, trying to find your way as Merrick tries and helps guide you the right way. And you hear this sound and you all try and find hiding spots, duck into corners, maybe a hole here. You cover up the light, you dim the lantern. And as you wait quietly, you just see this long extended arm reaching up and over and it pulls itself up. And the worst thing though, is that it doesn't actually touch the rock as it pulls itself up. And this long head with the strands of straw hair, these scales on its skin here and there, and this extended neck just circle up and above, and the bones and the spine of that neck are just pushing through this thin, pallid, sweaty flesh. 
and it arcs over and the rest of its body and it's these long spidery like limbs these long fingers and it's searching searching and you see it and did we recognize what it was or did we just recognize what awful things it could be um Anja cast that one yeah, I skill. I don't know if that did. actually tells us what it is, but just its immunities and resistances. So I believe it also tells... Thing. Hold on, I can look that up. I believe it also tells me that it was uh, an ooze. Because we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, either I'm way... I'm pretty sure that feature does. Can Riley roll a check since he read the bestiary that he purchased on island? <laughs> Um, uh, you can roll a check, but I uh, I'm sorry to say that this thing is not in the bestiary. Okay. Fine. Where's Hunter's sense? You immediately learn where the creatures any blah blah blah. Oh, maybe I don't know the name of it. That seems okay. silly. Oh, that's fine. It's just sensing what it sure. what it is. This okay? So I maybe not necessarily know it's an ooze, but so I do know it's immune to. Like everything. It looks like this undead creature, but you look at it, you see the shine, and you're like, no, that is an ooze. And it is resistant to acid, for one, but completely immune to cold, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. So... This party doesn't have any magical weapons, and you know this this could be an issue. And as you realize that, it locks its eyes at you. Me, right? At you. And the head then continues moving. And it shifts direction over towards where Merrick is hiding. And as it turns in that direction, Anja, you literally see as it passes partially through a wall, mm. like it's some sort of incorporeal creature on top of being a slime ooze. Oh, thing. lovely. And Eric, <laughs> what you see is kind of from your hiding space, this hand reaches out past where your face is. <laughs> and you feel this cold energy as it passes through where you are actually hiding and it doesn't seem to pay you any mind and it keeps wandering around where it encounters a wall or a ledge it wants to go through it just ignores it but otherwise it looks like it's walking and crawling just above the surface So, insight, does my character kind of realize what's going on, that it's incorporeal, or was Anja the only one who kind of half saw it go through that wall? Hmm. Well, I mean, Merrick also saw it go through the wall and his own person. That's true. And I probably saw that. Depending on yeah, where you guys are hiding. <laughs> you know, you might be able to see one or two people, but you don't see everybody because everyone's just kind of tucked away. And well, Brand's observant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying you can either see <laughs> if there was a light, sure. No, actually, this creature does uh have this pale glow to it. So Bran. Even in this dark space, as you hide this lantern from sight, Merrick, as you tuck in this rock, you not only feel this presence, but you see this pale, glowing body kind of passing through, searching. And it keeps going, searching. And goes to Bran's direction. goes into his hiding space stands up on this legs where you think it's going to pass through the ceiling it does for a bit before it cranes its neck down to make sure that it is 
uh, back uh, outside of the rock and it feels ahead of itself going right up to the mask on your face, Bran, before it jerks its hand back, turns its head like it sees something else. And moves away. And it begins to float and crawl away from you again. We wait until it's out of sight. I wait until we take notes. (laughs) Actually, I have a question. Was it making sound? It was not. What did we hear then? Yeah, that's right. I, I lied. Like... It was making sound. <laughs> okay, just checking. You're right. My bad. Otherwise, so, that would be creepy. I guess. Let me ask. Oh, how yeah. How was it making sound when it was moving around? Every once in a while, it would actually knock over some stones in the rock that it was moving through. Interesting. And there's that it's kind so of um, oh gosh, um, hobbits, the ring wraith. <laughs> Once wow. I give it a good like twenty heartbeats after I stop hearing it. Then I will slowly unveil the lantern a bit. And I step out. No. Uh, Yeah, the sound goes away. Bran, it's hard to tell when it goes far enough away. But yeah, you give it some time and you feel, well, I assume secure enough to take off your hood and lantern. And at this point, you have a general direction of where it went. Or you could try and continue finding your way. Because right now you're kind of in a maze of tunnels and alcoves. You know, you've ascended 40 feet at some point, dropped down 60, went to the left, 20, yeah. Have we seen any trail that the ghouls might have left blood? Uh, feces, any dead remains, ripped cloth. Drag marks, footprints, um, things like that. Bones. Bones, yeah. I was going to say, I would assume we were going to just keep you going. you gave me a 14 last time. And so you guys are still checking it, and you're kind of making your way but every once in a while it's like okay wait we've been here before okay let's try this way i must have read where the track was because there's at times where it's like okay here's a track and there's maybe a track that's you know 15 feet above you so it's like okay well did it go down did it go up i don't know and you kind of had to check and double check a few places but so far, you've been managing to find your way through with some setbacks. What? So he's laughing. It's never given the GM smiles. Oh, I was just asked if you guys at this point do we're kind of a, at this point we're kind of sure that we've kind of lost our trail. Ask right. the no, cartographer. I would say that you're <laughs> sure that you've lost your trail. <laughs> this trail is just uh, a little bit more difficult <clears throat> to maintain. So it's like, okay, well, there's 70 different directions it could go. It's hard rockets on. There's claw marks here and there. And it's like, okay, you're here, and then you kind of guesstimate where they went. And sometimes you guess wrong, and you have to duck double back and then go back the other way all right i'm so going not to necessarily yeah 
I'm going to start taking rocks and basically drawing a arrow on the walls in the direction that we came from. Sure. I was going to give the cartographer the uh, 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 benefit of the doubt and assumed he was making some sort of marks and making some sort of maps. Okay. So if you yeah. want to go back the way you came up the grate, you're going to be able to do that. Cool. Okay. But that's as important. you kind of make your way ahead, that's where the difficulty is. You know, I assume, Merrick, you are just kind of every once in a while, you check, try and see which way you should go. And then you're marking down on a blank piece of paper, you know, these directions. Or At this point, you know, this is a map maker's wet dream, but also a map maker's <laughs> nightmare. Because it's like, oh, you have to denote two tunnels that are a difference of 20 feet apart. And you're trying to do that on a 2D map. And it's like, oh, crap. But <laughs> you have someone who does that. So you're kind of in luck at the moment. I'm going to pat Merrick on the back and be like, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad you came with us. <laughs> we would be in trouble if you didn't. We might still be in trouble. Did you see the size of that thing? <laughs> Yes, it, it came up way close and way too personal. It invaded my personal space. Did you see it was so awesome? <laughs> I wouldn't want to fight that thing. Oh, by the way, that thing's pretty much immune to everything we can throw at it. Unless we have magical. It's immune to everything? It's not everything, but uh, like, you know, our normal weapons, you know, it needs to be like magical weapons. <laughs> And oh, magic that's, effects. That's a little more boring, but I think I do understand. It was literally passing through <laughs> objects. Yeah, it was an ooze. It, that's at least what it seemed like. I never I seen ooze do that. I've never seen, never thought an ooze could have a form like that. It was almost like a wraith ooze. <laughs> kind of was. I will go with that, Riley. That it was some sort of. Because it was it felt undead. Cold, I mean, right? it was going through. It was going through <laughs> things, and oozes don't. All right, so I know oozes don't usually go through walls. They're still got some substance. So should we follow it? No, we cannot take. Cannot fight that thing. Well, it didn't seem like it wanted to fight us. So. I don't have it, any. Anyways. You know what? It is not why we are here. So I have no desire to really go chasing after it. I want to find the ghouls. I want to find our townspeople dead or alive. That's why we're here. Uh, Kyle, could you refresh our memories? <laughs> yes. The pile that the uh, big ghoul was kind of around. Mm -hmm. We didn't find the remains of uh, individuals we were looking for, correct? You there were not, just no. deep ones, yeah. right? You found a deep one. That's and right. Then... Sailors, right? Sailors. Uh, well, the sailors were in the other room. Sailors last stand. Oh, 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 right, right. I right. apologize, everyone, for taking a look at my wonderful belly. I just realized we were playing this game and I didn't have any dice. You don't which need is that. Probably... No. Yeah, no you why do you need on. dice? You don't need dice. Well, I was about to do a secret roll and then I you was don't... like, oh gosh, I don't have dice. And then I looked just out add and like, just add twenty. Here. Just add twenty to everything. Just add twenty to everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Except for their Death, attack rolls. Carol, then, this isn't Pathfinder. <laughs> no, no, see, and then and then but when they're attacking, add one to everything. You know what? You're right. I don't need dice. I could have someone else roll for me. <laughs> Merrick, uh uh Jacob, do me a favor, roll a D4 for me. You're four. trusting Merrick. <laughs> well, he's three, so hopefully he doesn't roll a three, right? I got a one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, okay. who, don't worry about that. Is that me? Is that one? Am I number one? Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> Honestly, it, it doesn't matter. Whatever number it was, it was going to be brands. <laughs> <laughs> Is brand number one? Number one. Now. He's number one, two, and four on a default. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so why not going to hit? Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so you can continue your way trying to find these claw marks. It does look like, uh, Merrick, that the unmanned monster was shit. Gotta hate when you do that. 
uh, that the creature was heading off in a somewhat similar direction, and you may have to follow its path for a little bit, just judging where it's claw marks, drag marks on occasion, a bit of brain here or there. Oh. So you are, unless you want to try and find a route around, there have been several times where you've walked in circles. So it is potentially that you are capable of walking around where this thing went. What do you guys want to try and do? Anyway, it's fine with me. This is quite fun. You are the, you know what? I will look to Merrick. Like you're the map maker. What do you want to do? I mean, you're documenting all this. Do you want, I to, am. Do you want well, to keep exploring? I mean, I would love nothing more, but like you said, we got a job to do. So do. unfortunately, that the best way to accomplish that is probably towards the bodies and the giant not ooze thing. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, no, that is true. I mean, but I'm like, is it, do you think it'd be better to, I don't know, is there's no, we haven't found like a direct route there. So we're just still sort of spitballing, I guess, trying to find our way through. Yeah, I don't think direction really matters as long as we don't go back towards where we came from. As long as there's still evidence that there's been ghouls in that yeah. direction, or I'd say we're on the right path. Okay. Something to, as I say, they may be in multiple tunnels and such, too. We, uh, we, we keep going the most direct way to get there, I guess. Whatever looks the most gory. <laughs> oh, as long as it's not too much blood, I'll be okay. Brains are How okay, well can apparently. you see blood with dark vision? Or are you using normal light can, to, to uh, track? If I'm at the head of the are you muted, Kyle? Regatta. Of course he is. I am. Of course I am. I was just thinking to myself, you guys are complaining. Music. I don't give you guys magic items. I gave you a magic item last time. Which, yeah, the, the, <laughs> what was it? Um, uh, the dark vision glasses, eye patch. Right? <laughs> the eye patch. That's right. It was an eye patch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you guys can't complain that I'm throwing un. Yeah, but you know, I want a nice shiny magic weapon. <laughs> it's magical sword because they're I'm sexy. Give you a magic weapon, and it's going to be dirty and filthy and disgusting. There you go. That's fine. It's okay. still a magic as long weapon. As you're, okay. All right. All right. So, I'm practical. Uh, you wait. You discuss this over a time. It's like okay, most direct way. Yeah. You start following after where the creature went you're walking through climbing worse now as you you know you lower down these ropes to kind of crawl down onto the next ledge in order to walk around and get to the next to the next lily pad the next uh, mushroom um and I keep saying mushroom, but really it's just the way that these uh, um, rocks are forming underneath the earth here. And uh, Ernie, give me a D100. Yes, D100. Twenty-eight. That's good. You hear a rumble. That's bad. <laughs> And you hear rocks clattering. And behind where you were walking, one of these mushrooms just collapses down, blocking a tunnel. But so no one. retreat. No, no, there is retreat. That's okay. 28 for you. You are still able to retreat. You're still able to go forth. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least he didn't say rocks fall, everyone dies, so. Wouldn't that be the best way to end this game? <laughs> Especially <laughs> considering what you ripped off the name from. So can I roll insight to determine if that's maybe volcanic activity starting? That sounds more like a nature check. Whatever. Nature is actually better for me. Screw you for picking the better option. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Eight, yeah, I got a plus three, so it was a five. There's a lot of reasons for uh, uh, the ground to shake. Uh, there could be just giants underground who are, you know, shaking things up a little bit. 
uh, you know, doing a little bit of sporting, as it were. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's the Matrix Reloaded uh, um, mosh party, the rave. Yeah, there you go. You know what? <laughs> I normally don't necessarily do this, but I, I, can I make a nature check, too? Because that kind of makes sense that I'd be trying to parse out what that, sure. what possibly that could be. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm going to roll any better. Uh. I roll. What did I roll? Actually, roll. I rolled a little better. What's my nature? nature I believe I actually made a double digit (laughs) ten. So that's a seven. Uh, Yep. You know, you're not familiar with. (laughs) That would be wonderful. Thank you for finding Discord. you're not typically as familiar with things underground as you were, say, a, a forest situation, but you are next to and inside the lava tubes of a potentially active volcano. Two and two together, basic logic. It's potential. It could also just be a giant underground monster as well, though. Doesn't feel like things well, are warming you know, up, right? Cause things to rumble. So it doesn't feel like things are warming up, right? Like heating no, up. No, it's not at this point. It's still wet, damp, this awful smell. Um, it's kind of permeating the air. Like rotten eggs? Yeah, I was going to say sulfur. Not quite sulfur, no. Okay, so that's that would definitely indicate uh, volcanic maybe, activity. Maybe more like a rotten smell with all the dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> probably used all to right. that right and, and in the air yeah it seems to follow you wherever you go yeah but anyway so you continue forward you know taking a second holy crap and you continue walking through following and in addition now on top of the claw marks the bits of blood there's this slime you see on the ground every once in a while. Rose. And Anja probably having the closest look. Well, between Anja and Merrick, actually, I would say. Yeah. Uh, similar to that creature that. Did he leave a did he leave a slime trail? Did we notice when he went by? You didn't really notice a slime trail, but every once in a while, something would drip off of him. Uh, and it, it's like this stuff here. It's like this stuff here. And as you kind of look ahead, you see more and more of these kind of, some of them still wet. Others are like this dried slime looking substance. Um, Brand would be able to tell you, yeah. No, when mucus dries, it kind of looks a little bit like that. You could put two and two together. Yeah. More of this surrounding is just kind of... Brian would like to look around quickly. Uh, first off, I'd like to see if this looks like um, a nest or a layer of some sort. Also, you said that there's been bones and other refuse. I'd like to see if it looks like they're all recent or if they are parse out like you know this one's very old this one's maybe a month old sure yeah go ahead um the layer check um probably either a nature or survival and i'll have more people uh hop in on that if they want that mm-hmm. um medicine what, what what's your bonus to medicine plus seven uh plus it was seven. a nine on the um to see if it might be a layer or something like that. I rolled crap. Yeah, anyone else want to roll on top of that? Uh, well, well, can I add some logic to this just sure. to see if maybe some of this refuse or whatever is actually coming from some shoots from actually the town above since they do use the caves as refuse pits. So I just want to rule that out as an option. Sure. Um, I did make... In I, this I, layer, you actually have encountered... Uh, uh, some excrement um, that is 
And if Bran was interested in looking at that, and he was with his medicine check, uh, you would see uh, guava, berries, uh, uh, and other sorts of stuff that they're eating up above, as opposed to these uh, ghouls you know them to eat mostly meat. And so if you were to, you know, oh, that's a kernel of uh, information there. 13 and survival, so, yes. by the way. 13 survival? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you would know creatures that tend to occupy a singular path would probably leave more tracks until they got to their actual lair. And so between the two of you, um, you're not at a lair yet, but this is, if you were to continue down uh, a certain direction, you would most certainly hit where this creature's lair is. Um, Bran, uh, on top of the other medicine. So yes, some refuse does fall down, but honest, uh, you've seen two instances of it since you've actually been in this maze of tunnels. Um, the bones, the bits of flesh, uh, they are quite old. Um, and the flesh, I would say, is actually probably about three to four weeks old. The bones themselves uh, uh, could possibly be a little bit older. And you would know this just because of the damp temperature down here um, that the, the flesh would probably be removed a little bit quicker than, say, in a dry, arid place. Which thing are we tracking? I think I've answered everyone's questions. Huh? Sorry, I do have a question. Which thing are we tracking? We sense that we're tracking the ooze or the ghouls or both? Are they actually you're like following coexist both? So they're like they could be coexisting together. Potentially. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> And you guys have been in this maze now. You're not sure of the time, but it has been a very long period of time. You are starting to feel that wear. Like maybe it's time to sleep, but also who knows actually what time it is right now. But I would say you're a bit aware of some a little bit of fatigue setting in. Should we sleep here? No. No. Do These we... creatures pass through here at clearly some type of interval. If we, we rested here, they would most likely assemble upon us. I mean, do we feel like we'd be impaired and impaired at all? No, right? We're not that tired yet. You're not <clears> that tired. Like when you get home from a day of work. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm going to stay up, obviously, for another eight hours and play D&D. &D. But hey, I'm feeling a little fatigued, you know. Crack open that Mountain Dew. Get some guava juice in you. You're good to go. If that is a Mountain Dew, Ernie, I'm the boss. It's not, though. It's a monster, dang it. It is guava Ultra <laughs> Fiesta Energy Monster. <laughs> I have no idea what Ultra Fiesta flavor is, but it tastes all right. <laughs> I, I'm going to look back at everyone and go, do you, I feel like we're getting close. Do we want to try to see this through? Yes. Or do uh, we want to retreat and rest? I don't think down here is a good place to do so, though. We should continue on. Yeah, I think so. We don't know the okay. conditions of the others that have gone missing. No, I... I very much want to find them. I just wanted to make sure everyone was okay to go. Um, when we proceed on, I want to, I'd like to move stealthily. Okay. I assume everyone is joining you in on this. Mm -hmm. We don't have passed without a trace yet. Right? Oh, that's actually good. So who's going to I'm back? very, I am stealthy. Uh, I am on a 23. Nice. Merrick. You got a dirty 20. Nice. nice. 
I'm going to guess Bran because I think Ernie's the one who's going to drop the ball on this one. Bran, what's your stealth? 17. 17. Ernie, it's yours to lose. What do you got? Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I get a plus four. <laughs> He's just walking along, four. taking his claws, uh, well, or, I get a, you know, rubbing it against the walls. I get a plus I'm, four, I'm actually I mean... scratching into my tablet, taking notes. Uh, <laughs> Yo, look, ooh, yeah, that's some. Look, ooze. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, I'm still tracing or drawing the the ooze creature that we saw earlier in my memory. Uh, yeah, just uh, Anja, Merrick, Bran, and then Riley. Was that right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it, sure. I think Merrick was up front. Yeah, and Merrick was like number two because he was keeping he's you keeping going track. The right yeah, direction. Yeah. So yeah, you guys start to sneak uh, uh, stealthily. Um, Anja, you're noticing more and more of these bits of slime. Merrick, you as well. And it's just like you know, you start seeing other directions, and you're looking for signs. It's like nope. I don't want to go after that, please. Nope. Towards the slime direction again. And you all begin to hear that wraith noise again. Are there places to hide? I don't think hiding helped last time, but you can we can do yeah. it. <laughs> I'm literally asking, like, do we actually have any places to hide since we're like in a tunnel? Give me a perception check, Anja, Merrick. Uh, man, I imagine you're just really scratching into your book, Riley. Yeah, so I'm not paying attention. That perception. No, no, I'm not gonna do perception. I like uh, smack Riley. With my perception, I'm assuming I hear Riley. I will literally just kind of put my hand slowly on his tablet and. Bring it down and just put my finger up to my mask. Like shut up. Uh, that's a eighteen perception for me. Okay. Got ten. Okay. Twenty perception for me. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it's difficult to tell direction and everything like that. But this sound, you're approaching it. It's not necessarily approaching you. So if you want to hide, you can hide, but you may be sticking around for a while if it's not actually moving. I will let everyone know the sound is stationary. We are heading towards it. I'm not surprised. Unfortunately, this is the only trail we have. Um, should I lead the way since I actually have some combat ability against it? I'm fine with that. Are you sneaky? Yeah. I don't want to engage it unless we have to. And if there's nothing in there but it, I don't want to think engage it. Keeping you away from it so that you can utilize your ability would be best. Okay. At best, <laughs> we could at least distract I, it. I, 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 I don't want to. I want to try to. I want to see what's in there first. Okay, Anja, you sneak ahead then. And report oddly back. enough, though you're you're no you're, you're oddly enough uh, you're actually no stealth. I'm you're no stealthier. I'm no stealthier than you. Yeah, and I, I have rolling. combat abilities and can misty step out. I'm not the most versatile warlock. <laughs> All right. I I don't want to engage it. I so. mean that the goal isn't to engage unless we have to. But we do need to Chris explore Merrick, ahead maybe. to see what happened. Yeah, exactly. Because if the the villagers are up there, then we need to know. That's 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 pretty much it. I mean, we're equally unless Merrick is stealthier. Uh, I'm not that kind of rogue. You're not stealthy. Are we get the best stealth at four? Yeah, plus four. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You can it's come fine, with. Guys, it's fine. No, actually, if you want, you can come with. I mean, uh, double the chances. We're all to just fail. about the same, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's up to you. You're just as good as I am. I, but... I I mean, the more people that go, the more chances that will be detected. So well... I think it should be one person, and then another person falls a little bit farther behind. 
I rolled decently too. I rolled a five. I rolled a sixteen stealth to sneak into that room. Oh, just now. Oh, to sneak yeah. ahead. Yeah, to sneak ahead. Oh, I was going to be nice and let you roll over your twenty-three. But yeah, let's take your sixteen. Now, nah, well, I figured it's another. I figured it's another segment, and I'm doing a different. You know, I'm actually yeah, going no. into that room. You start heading in that direction. Give me a survival check. Oh, that's not great. Let's see. What's that say? It's a six plus four is ten. Hey, at least it's double digits. Yeah, there you go. Double digits. Yeah. Double no. digits. It looks like you may have found the way out of the maze. And the meaning? tunnel once again. Huh? I said meaning. Sorry. Meaning you're going to be able to move a lot faster. And you're going to be able to track whatever you're looking for a lot easier. Cool. But as you go through, it seems very much like it inevitably leads to whatever this thing's lair is. And you kind of see down the path that there's this kind of pale glow. But Lordy, nothing I... seems to have. You're pretty sure you're quiet and you haven't alerted it yet. I keep going. I got to see what it looks like in there. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. I, okay. I mean, it's, and, and if, if the party wants to stay like, you know, we were doing, you know, like a movement back, like 30 feet back or something like that. They could, you know, that's, I, I would be happy with that. If you with guys these two that back. need a light source. <laughs> yeah, well, no, that's why 30 feet back. And with you probably at the front, uh, Riley. Oh, I'm number two. Okay. Yeah, why not you be number two? Fine. I'm number two. It makes okay. sense. You start trailing behind her. Should I roll a stealth check? You should roll a stealth check. <laughs> yes. It's just as good as mine. You have been distracted from your tablet. Time to focus on the task at hand. Yeah, Maybe. I rolled a 22. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> I walk right up behind Anja and startle her. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I want to do that. And Merrick, uh, Bran, are you also coming up 30 feet behind? Yes, I'm, I'm say, planning on it. You do have this light yeah. stone. It is giving. I, actually, it's been a while. I, I think the light ran out. It only lasts an hour. Oh, yeah. No, it's right. Lana. Are you kind of redoing it every once in a while? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a cantrip. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a cantrip. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So Merrick has this light stone. Um, it is giving a ton of light off. And so if something is used to, you know, this uh, 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 darkness, you know, just a pinpoint of light is going to give you away. Um, With the lantern Bran has the hood, he can, you know, drop it off and just give you guys barely enough light to keep going by. And I imagine if we're going stealthily, that's the way we're going to go about this. Um, Anja, you sneak up. And you find yourself in a room that has absolutely no dirt, no grime, no slime on the floor after this certain point. There's a threshold where all of a sudden all of this stuff disappears. It's still a stone floor. And you kind of walk in, and there's these collapsed tunnels on either side. There's little alcoves up above, a few dips in the stone here and there. And the glow source is kind of in another larger alcove in the back. You want to keep pushing in? Yep. Okay. You step in. And right away, you don't see 
any exits in this room that look large enough that you would be able to take. Maybe maybe one that Merrick might be able to squeeze through if he left all his things and his knickers behind, um, but not something that all of you could fit through. And you come across this creature and its back is turned to you. Just it. No sign of ghouls. No sign of people. No sign of ghouls. No sign of people. And it appears to be standing by in front of the stone. The best way to describe it would be like this pulpit. And it's trying to interact with something on the pulpit itself. And it seems, however long you watch it, it just seems to be getting more irritated at whatever this object is. Its body is kind of blocking you. You could try and sneak closer to it, but you are going to definitely run a risk of being discovered, I think. I mean, how much benefit do I think I could get by getting closer to it? By what, what, trying to read whatever the hell? Is it trying to read something like a book or something? Mm-hmm. You'd have to get closer. You said it's like what? interactive. Mm-hmm. Riley, do you want to just walk up on her as she's obsessed with this? Um, I mean, I won't try and startle her, but I'm very interested in what's taking her so long. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to also approach. Yeah. Do you also see this threshold where all of a sudden this room is clean? And every surface of this room are these dancing shadows from this pale light going forth. You're searching around and you see Anja and you manage to get up behind her. You do that kind of side wave when someone's doing something very important that you don't want to startle them by and just give that slight movement. And you too also see this creature standing at this pulpit just trying to interact with some object there. Um... Hmm. Let's see. I would detect magic has a verbal component. Never mind. Uh, what? Ooh, yeah. The only spell that I have that doesn't have verbal is control flames, but that doesn't help here. Mm-hmm. Merrick, give me a survival check. Ten. Ten. And I'll take an observation, a a perception from you, Bran. Nine. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Now that light being so dim is not helping either of you out so much. Um, And you continue on down this path of where all this slime is dripping. Riley, you were going to say something? Well, I mean, I'm going to try and very, very carefully step to the side to see if I can see around this creature to see what's on this little altar, pedestal, pulpit, whatever it is. Sure. So is that another stealth check? Or I'm just going to succeed. Gonna roll it over. Um, yeah, you can, with Anja, those swords are just kind of the hilt. Every once in a while, they just bang something up. She's just trying to be so stealthy. It's like, you don't have that. Just yeah, no, you can, you can over. go ahead. And you see that this creature is interacting with this slab of stone on top of this pulpit. And there's this hand in the center. 
engraved into the stone. And give me a perception check of your own. Oh, yes. Uh, perception, where is that? Oh, it's alphabetical. There we go. Nat 20, so 24. Nice. You see the scrawling symbols on this stone tablet that look eerily familiar and somehow completely different um, from a stone tablet you've recognized before. And you can see this creature is trying to trying to grab at the words, trying to put its hand in the engraving and its hand passes through and the words, the symbols kind of retreat from its hand and it seems to be getting more and more aggravated as it does so. Really, really want to touch that tablet. <laughs> Um, I think this is where Riley's curiosity and impulsivity is going to take over. Um, how far away is the stone tablet for me? 10 feet. Oh, that's not far at all. I can make it there in one movement. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to move ahead really quickly and, and throw my hand in the middle of that tablet where the thing is, <laughs> where, where the handprint is, re irregardless of uh, de being detected by this thing. I don't care at this point. And if it tries to do anything or take the tablet away, I'm, I'm taking the tablet with me and misty stepping out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If we do not care. I do not care at this point. Riley is very, very curious. Roll initiative yes <laughs> uh i mean since i'm i'm taking the action and surprising the thing do i get an advantage or something but just roll as is you're good do uh, I'm, I'm there do you want to roll from me 15 oh i want to roll from all of you okay 15 initiative is american brand outside of the room or in the room they're outside of the room you're There's outside the room still. Um, 18 okay. 18 Merrick? Uh, 19. 19? Good. And Bran? 8. Oh, jeez. You are you are dead tonight, Bran. You are dead tonight. Shut up! Um, you leave my mic alone. I will ask this. So we're, we have no visual on the room, correct? You are entering the threshold. So you are you're not quite there yet. Okay. Um, so, so we cannot see what's happening, correct? Yeah. Um, I take <laughs> uh, a normal person about two moves. Or one dash from Bran. <laughs> well, I will ask this. Do I hear him? I, I, I think I, he's being quiet. So I was I, quiet. I think he just told me that he was being quiet and then <laughs> he saw this stone and he did not care anymore. He was going to reach out, put his hand on it, and teleport away if necessary. Teleport away if it tried to take the tablet away from me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you run towards it and you alert the creature. Yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> And it reaches out to try and grab you with its hands. Can I dodge it and still make the tablet? <laughs> if it doesn't hit you, you've dodged the attack. Oh, it's an attack. Got it is it. an attack. Okay. Does a 19 hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. It immediately turns around as you go to break stride. Which makes you wonder, were you ever able to actually hide from this thing? I mean, it saw us in <laughs> stealth. Also, does its attack actually hit me or do I go through its arm? Strangely enough, these long fingers caporalize around your throat. And it immediately begins to strangle you. Question. Um, 
question, okay. Kyle. Yes. It didn't say it wasn't it wasn't trying to speak or anything. It was just trying to and not that I could see it grabbing at the words, but it wasn't like speaking any anything. We don't know if it can talk or not, do we? It didn't talk out the hall, so insight. Insight. Okay. Insight. And you can roll this as well. Ooh, that's pretty decent. Let's see. 15 plus my insight. Uh, 19. 19. Yeah. It appeared to be making similar sounds over and over again. I don't, I don't know if it, oh, so it does, it can vocalize. Do you speak Aklo and? Uh, fuck, no, I don't. I speak, it's abyssal. I didn't speak, I should have friggin' took Aklo. I didn't even realize that. Like, speaks so, Aklo. So do I get I an should action? have taken it. Mm -hmm. Or do I get an action or just the movement? Oh, you get your action. Oh, okay. So is the tablet within reach of me? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Okay, well then I'll use my action to Misty Step to the tablet. Okay. And then as a bonus action, can I touch the tablet? <laughs> <laughs> Misty Step is a bonus action, correct? No, Misty Step is... Yeah, Misty Step is a bonus action, so my action will be to grab the tablet. You... Misty step out of there as soon as you feel these fingers wrap around your throat, starting to cut off your windpipe. Poof. Screams are heard, and suddenly you're right next to the tablet. You go grab your hands on it. Just, yeah. Hand on it and grabbing it. I have two hands. Hand in the handprint, <laughs> hand on the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> you feel on your hand, you feel this pull, this draw, this need for this hunger, this need. And as you put your hand on it, you kind of feel it drawing at you. And you can give in to it. Who knows what would happen? Or you can just try and take this tablet and run. I... All right, let's see here. Let's let's roll for it. Uh, so if it is a six or higher, I give in. That's a nine. I give in. I, I give in. <laughs> I would have made it like a wisdom save or something like that. No, 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 no. No, no, he wanted it. I wanted it. <laughs> Three quarters of me wanted it. <laughs> All right. What session are we on right now, Riley? 17, I think. 17, 18? Uh, uh, yeah, 18. 18. Uh, um, give me... There is no good number for this either. Well, I've already given up, uh, let's see, two and seven. Two and seven. Uh, roll... Um, Oh no. Roll a d8, please. Oh no. Yes, yes, yes. He's going to forget some. Another, here goes another session out of his memory. Oh, it's seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, you lose session 15. Okay. And you are not going to be here for very long. Okay. Uh, going next into initiative, uh, um, or rather to the top of it, Anja, you literally see Riley sees something, springs into action, where immediately this thing turns around, tries to grab him, and he slips through, pops out on the other side, puts his hand and focuses on something on the pulpit. You can't tell what. Do and I is not reacting anymore? <sighs> and this creature is turning its head uh, viciously back in the direction of where Riley is. Oh my gosh! I oh man, session this fifteen. Is so was... hard to figure out what to do here. <laughs> because 
I think I've got him. He flipping, he flipping did this Say, uh, who's record, the one who damage this thing? Oh, mm-hmm. what's he doing right now? Mm-hmm. I'm going batshit crazy. That's what's happening. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the one who was going to leave this thing batshit crazy, but apparently not. It's been my goal the entire oh, time to go insane. Sh- <laughs> Like, yeah, but it, as a player, it is. Yeah, my character has just been like, "Ooh, all the cool just stuff." Just nice. focus on what you're doing, Except, Carol. I know that's problem. I don't know what to freaking do right now. Um, because I know I can't really fight this thing. I mean, I have, I've got one thing I can do. Uh I don't speak Akko. I don't know if I. I don't know. If, I don't know why the hell didn't I take Akko? That would have been the one that made <laughs> fucking sense. I can always see if it maybe it'll speak common. I mean, it's been hanging around with a bunch of ghouls, I assume. Or it was sharing the caves. Oh, sh- I don't even know what to say right now. This is just, this is a hard situation. That was a hard you situation. Call for help. It's a really friggin', uh, like, no, I'm not going to friggin' call for help. You think All I'm right, giving here we away go, Carol. Got to figure out what you're doing. Shit. Someone's going next. It might be the creature. I will. I can't. This. I don't know if I can do like ventriloquism or something. I'm not good at throwing my voice. I'm going to take. I'll tell you. I'm going to take. I'm going to try to distract the creature. Uh, I'm going to take a rock Mm -hmm. and I'm going to chuck it to the other side of the room. Um. I'm going to take a fairly large stone to do it. Carol, you do realize he said that there's like no debris in this area. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, all right. What have I got on me? No, you're right. Well, I, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, that's true. It was cleaned. Um, inventory. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got that I can chuck? Your sword. No, I can chuck that. <laughs> there you go. One of my two swords. I mean, it doesn't do any good against this thing anyways, right? <laughs> Carol, nah. give me a skill check that you would use to attempt to distract or dissuade this creature from going after Riley right now. Uh, Stop Michael Jackson dance. I know. Oh. It'd be like, I was like either performance or persuasion. but Don't worry about me. Reading. Don't. It's, it's fine. I did this on myself. If you're you using did. your muscles, you can give me a strength persuasion. You know, knock something over. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll Go. knock if there's something I can knock over, but I'm trying to do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or or trying persuasion. to do it stealthily. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to do it stealthily. But yeah, I mean, if it catches sight, I'll flip and book it. Well, that's a good roll, though. 17 plus, we're going to add my strength to it. Um, that's 22, and I don't know if you want to add proficiency to this, but... Uh, if, if you are proficient in persuasion, then I will take it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. So nope. just 22, but still, that's a 22. 22, yeah, no. Yeah. You do that, and you knock some stones over. They just pour over this floor, and the creature turns again doesn't even actually turn its body from its reaction towards Riley. It instead snakes this head over and around itself to look behind at this mess you have made. Do you need me to make another stealth check to hide? Is like a... I don't know know how you want to do the actions here. I mean, knocking something over... Knocking something over kind of gives you... kind of gives you a way in this situation. I say, would I have enough time and to reconceal myself? No, it's like, unfortunately, uh, not. So, all right. So, so knocking over would be an action, not a bonus, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna freeze for the. I'm gonna freeze for the moment, but I'm ready to book it the hell back to my uh, companions. I mean, he, yeah, Riley, Riley made his choice, so. 
I don't like to do this, but well, I see how it is. Abandon your party. I don't. I'm, just I'm not. I'm going to my party. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not you part of your party one, anymore. You're the one who. Uh, you're the one who. Can't, you decided this. I know. Over party, I, so. I'm totally joking. Yes, my please. actual character does not care. <laughs> my own character would rather. Oh die. yeah, no, you're doing a good job role playing your character, but you maybe you're coming up with a new concept. <laughs> It's fine. I'll go serve my patron. Creature <laughs> turns its head towards you. Shit. Sing and with a natural two, uh, <laughs> you just see it's indecisive. You certainly distracted it, but you know one hand is reaching out in your direction, ten feet out into your direction. It's right. Its fingertips are right there. Do I? Yet, so I it's know still it's body is pulled over to what Riley is doing. Oh, it's ten feet away, and its fingertips are almost to Anja. Yeah. Can't Holy reach. shit! Wow. Oh, um. Um. Yeah. So I guess it. So I guess it totally saw me. I think it totally saw you. Oh shit! Or you couldn't hide from it. Did, okay. did Brandon Merrick hear the rocks crashing? Merrick, over? you hear rocks tumbling down. Actually, shit, Merrick, great. you should have gone first, to be honest with you. Who? Uh, Merrick. Oh, shit. He's faster Sorry. than you are. He was being smart. <laughs> he was being he smart. probably was being smart. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Merrick, you hear rocks tumbling uh, ahead in the room. Uh, what would you like to do? Was I able to, able to see what happened with Riley, or are we too far away? If you... Uh, just a little bit of movement, and you can see... Uh, Anja is staring into this uh, l- large alcove. There's this arm, this familiar arm. Y- you felt what that thing was like as it passed through you, reaching out in Anja's direction. Uh, you see no sign of Riley whatsoever from where you're standing, unless you want to run in more. I might suggest running away, honestly, but that's that's up to you and uh, your character. Um, about how far away am I? Uh, you are from where Anja is. It would probably take you. It would take you uh, two moves to get there, fifty feet about. Um, yeah, about fifty feet. Or or a single dash would a dash feet. make that twenty-five feet? Twenty-five feet. So move and dash would get him there all the way. Not quite to where the creature is standing. Mm, you would see Riley at that point. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to move forward my 25 feet, but instead of dashing any further, mm-hmm. is the rock in my pocket still lit up? Or did that go out when, when Riley went out? It is not a concentration, so it should still, still be lit up. until I take an action, dispel it, or it runs out. Let's okay. see here real quick. Yeah, no, this is a fresh light stone, so you don't have to worry about it going out. Okay. I'm going to chuck the light at the light lit stone at the monster and try to distract it away from Anja. Sure, I know sure. I can't hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's uh, the most helpful. It is a magically lit stone. Say, if it, if it, How if does it, this work? Is it a magic okay. item now? Well, so it said, the sad thing is, I could do a little damage to it if it friggin' if it friggin' you know tried to hurt me with one of, like acid or something like that. But otherwise, I got no way to to deal with it. Really? Okay. Uh, maybe the t- the right? Stone. Maybe you can talk to it. Uh, give me that persuasion, performance, intimidation. Uh, if you want to use dexterity as the modifier, go ahead. Uh, you're just trying to distract it again. This thing is going to be confused as hell. <laughs> That's the point. So, uh, what are we rolling for that? Um... Um, nine. <laughs> you can't, well, no, you can see this creature from where you're standing. You chuck this light stone at it. 
and it's really creepy and it just kind of bounces a little ways and you don't quite get it and it's not doesn't seem to have you or the light stone in mind as you do that um going over to bran finally so i'm going to take with the assumption that i heard noise do i hear it um the creature becoming more vocal yes you would have heard it becoming more vocal chanting i speak Eklo. And these guttural noises it makes, you can tell are Aklo, but it's so guttural and distorted from this length of neck that it appears to speak through. So you could surmise it can understand something, but you're having difficulty trying to understand what it was saying. It then screams at Riley. You don't know who it screams at. Um, hear the clattering of rocks, more screaming, this guttural howling. Um, and we'll say you are able to kind of walk in. You see the arm reaching so, out for uh, Anja. Mary. As my action, I will retrieve one of my oil uh, pints mm-hmm. and unstopper it. Okay. And then I will move to an adjacent direction from where Anja and uh, Marcus are, and then probably Riley on the other adjacent side, per se. Mm -hmm. And I will say in common, try to distract it for a moment. (laughs) And I'm assuming with my 40, I will spend 40 movement. Well, it should probably get me to about where I'm thinking. You're about 20 feet away from the creature. And this is just one movement. So you have your action. Uh, I moved. When you unstopper or you retrieve something, that's part of the movement. Oh, okay. So if you then also hmm. want to chuck it while it's been distracted. Nope, I'm not going to chuck it. Um, <gasps> okay. I will turn it upside down and begin moving in a circle around him. Because as far as I know, this thing does not fly. Okay. You make this circle of oil. You see, obviously, the cause of distress for the creature. Riley with his hand on this (laughs) tablet on this pulpit as you're running around it. And he is just if I am su- Yeah, if I'm successful in making the circle, mm-hmm. then I will change what I say instead okay. to first off will be <clears throat> in common, light it. Second one will, uh, and then the next few words I'll have in Aklo are creature of the deep, name yourself. Okay. You do that. We go back to the top of the round. Uh, Merrick, you should have gone first, so we'll go ahead and get you going now as first. You see Riley come in here running the oil, tells you to light it, shout something in some crazy Brand. language. Bran. <laughs> I'm tired. Brandon. I'm killing all of your characters. And you all. <laughs> Riley or Bran, and, and we'll all have the observant feet and fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take that just to Fuck with Kyle's head. No, make I yourself a target. Th- That's fine. Uh, I got better things. Thank you take. are up. Okay, yeah, I'm checking my inventory. I think I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got a tender box. Cool. Um, that takes an action to light it. All right. Well, he told me to do it, so I'm gonna switch to my tender box, and uh, I'm assuming I'm close enough to the oil to do it. You left me a trail? Yeah, I think you can. Okay. Uh, I'll light it. See what happens. <laughs> All right. This low flame circle uh, uh, envelops the creature. Uh, Bran, how big of a circle were you trying to make around it? 
It's uh, one pint. I would say, well, let's first ask, did I see that it had its reach out that far? Yes. Then I will aim to envelop it as big as I can around it. I, I, I don't know the size of this room per se. Yeah, I think you're um, going to be able to, with a pint. At least a 10 foot ring, I'd hope. Roll a D100. Okay. Just imagine that time I spilt that beard. It's not that much. <laughs> but I'm also controlling it. 98. You. <laughs> you experience quite a bit of bad luck here, Brand. Oh, you go, no. You pull yeah, out this ate. pint and you go to dump it out and. It maybe gets maybe like five feet in length. So then I probably wouldn't have that... uh, said to light it yet. I would yeah. wait until I had a full circle. And That's great. You just create a wall of fire yeah, protecting the is... creature from you three, and then I'm just stuck <laughs> in the room with it. <laughs> this is that flask of oil that? you had that you just not recently that's a problem. had filled your. I do uh, have like four with. more of these. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this, you just grabbed the one that was closest that you had just recently, you know, topped off the lantern with, so it didn't quite have as much oil in there as you were thinking. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> so hold that for a moment, Merrick. Hold that I for a moment. <laughs> Merrick, would you like to do something else? Um, no, not really. I think I'm just going to prep that action. Okay. For... All right. Uh, Anja, you are up. You apparently distracted the creature Bran is trying something. Merrick looks like he's on board for whatever it is. Uh, and the creature's like right in front of me. Do I feel like that 10 feet is about his re Is my back against a wall? I wouldn't say your back is against a wall. No, I, I, I meant it. Yeah, I meant, and I meant a literal one. I said, I meant a literal one, not a, not a metaphorical one. Like, I'm thinking I'd like to step back. And uh, they, okay. I want to say something to it, but I'm not sure what I want to say to it. What the hell do I say to it? <laughs> uh, the mother was a worm, and your father smelled of Vaseline. I'm not. I'm not playing a bar wow. with, with vicious <laughs> mockery, is, man. We're gonna. We're gonna kill you guys now. All right. That's it. <laughs> I'll step back, all. and I will actually. I will just talk to. I'll just. I'm gonna talk to it. Um, even if it doesn't understand me. I'm going to sit. I'll take a five foot step back. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm still very rich. Here you go. Your whole. Oh God, what do I want to say? Because he's fucking with the book. That's what makes it so difficult. He's fucking with the tablet. tablet. It, it's a tablet. So, yeah, I know it's a tablet. He's trying to turn on the apple. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> My friend just, you know, he just, he's very curious about everything. And he's very curious about your book, your tablet there. And I said, I stepped back, hopefully out of his reach. And I'm trying to keep his attention on me, though. Give me a performance or persuasion. <laughs> Either or, right? They're Either both or. literally the same. Oh, wait, is that a 20? That is a symbol. Ah, that's a nat 20 for 21. <laughs> I have the great charisma. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. You take that step back. Yeah. The creature goes from looking at Riley, and then you mention the book and the stone tablet, and it tablet. turns its eyes to you. This and is it probably steps the... forward and it tries to. Oh, cut this off is a the fucking, words from your mouth before. Fucking you terrible idea! You guys are gonna have to save me at this point. Good thing there's no blood in this room. Does a yeah. nineteen hit you, Anja? Does a 19 hit me? I'm sure a 19 hits me. Yeah, a 19 hits me. So it stretches out this room, just steps up to you <laughs> and wraps its fingers around your throat. And yeah. you are being strangled to death. The wind uh, <sighs> is suddenly cut from your throat and it's Fingers are digging into your flesh without actually, you know, 
sinking its fingers into there. So not in taking... the incorporeal sense. In the corporeal sense, it is strangling you. Uh, uh, and you take six okay. bludgeoning damage as it just starts to squeeze the life out of you. Do something! <laughs> and... With that, we go with, and yeah, it just starts screaming into your face. Its arms are out length, and its head is in your face, screaming Shit. at you. It moved, though, damn it. It moved out of it your did. friggin' oil circle. Fuck. Riley. Sorry. It's because you moved. No, I... You get uh... into the book. The, into the... Damn it, Anja. Sorry? It's a tablet. You get into the tablet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And you feel it taking from you, and this room changes. Every single flat surface begins written words and etchings, and there is slime and mold in this pulsating green light through every crevice. And you can see even now Anja knocked over some stones and there's this pulsating tendrils that are shifting it, the stones back into the wall. Whether anyone else sees the truth. Are these delusions? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I obviously not asking that right now. I think. Oh yeah, obviously amazing. not. And you give to the book and tablet. God fucking damn it. I'm so sorry. Not sorry, but sorry. And so, uh, that is what's going for your character at the moment. That was my, my turn? Okay. That's your turn. You're just suddenly seeing you're seeing the truth. The truth. Do, what, the do truth. I also kind of half notice without registering like the strangulation of Anja is that still happening in my purview <laughs> yeah that's a good or, question or am I kind of just distracted by all the all the cool writing on the walls you know what you even if I do distracted. see it, what do you think you're roll you know, me a perception to check. be honest even if I saw Anja being strangled I think I'd be more curious about all the cool shiny mm -hmm. um but yeah I'll, I'll roll a perception that was a 21 it was 21. Yeah, no. You see where the creature is standing. A man in red robes. One hand is extended out as you see Anja kind of struggling with something around her neck, but you don't actually see what's strangling her. It's obviously this man doing it. The force. All right. And do you speak Aklo? Uh, no. Abyssal, common, deep speech, elvish. Uh, it is shouting at her clear as day some language that you do not understand. Bum, bum, I bum. will take note of what it says phonetically <laughs> for future reference if I can. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I think we'll see I have if you the... remember that here in a bit. Oh, I purposefully have the feet. Uh, what was it? Keen mind. Let's see. I will remember this because of the feet I pick Purp purposefully for this, I think. Okay. I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. You do recognize the words Ubo Sothla <gasps> in yes. this four tongue though. And we, we are brethren. Over we are brethren. <laughs> Bran. <laughs> You've just tried to dump out this oil. Anja clearly infuriated it, and it's now attempting to strangle her dead. What would you like to do? And it seems fully focused on the task at hand. Yes, I am committed. I will continue making my circle with a fresh pint. I will literally go right under. <laughs> I will I'll literally do like a slide underneath the uh, arms between Anja and them. Mm -hmm. 
and try to close it. Hopefully right. this works or does something. <laughs> this is all we got. All right. That is part of your movement. Anything else you'd like to do? Well, it was my action to take out the other pint. Oh, no, you said uh, to move it. Um, then, you know what? I will attempt it. As I'm literally sliding underneath this thing, I would like to try to strike it. Sure. <sighs> I will use an unarmed strike. That would be a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. So I would like to use Harming Hand on it. Okay. <gasps> nice. Just give me well, the we'll Harming Hand. Point. Damage. Yeah, I, I know. I know. At least else. you can do something, though. That's great. At least you'll hear it. Max damage of nine. It's something. As the Quadic goes into it. Yes, no, your hand passes into it and you feel this pulse as that dark energy springs forth from the tip of your claw, uh, fingernails <laughs> and, <laughs> and immediately this black veins spread out and actually start to encompass an enormous part of its body hold on hold on hold on isn't your necrotic damage only uh uh your martial arts die or is it your martial oh, arts it's different die plus it's its own die it's its own die okay yeah. all right uh yeah and it spreads out almost encompassing this entire creature and you can see it stretching over the arms and its fingernails blackening as uh, uh, as it continues to strangle Anja, and it howls in pain. That is me. That is you. Oh, um, Anja took damage, didn't she? She did. Yeah, I'm not that. I'm not. Do you, you want to know on a scale of forty-one? I'm about a twenty-eight right now. So not terrible. Uh, let me see. I, I could take a couple more hits like that. And I probably can try to break I out. I can too. only do it once. Save it. Uh, Save it for now. That doesn't really matter. Because uh, it, it doesn't cost me any more or less. Uh, you know what? I will spend my bonus action as I'm passing by to flurry of blows and i will only do one one of them because the other one won't do crap to the to him but i will use healing hand on anja okay there's my healing hand although i don't know how that what, what happens the fact that how many rounds i cannot breathe for if he's totally cutting off my air uh, well, when i was being drowned I think it was three yeah, rounds. See, I, yeah, I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure how You'll that works. Fine. Don't worry about it. So I heal her eight. Okay. <laughs> I'm not this killing you with my, hit points, uh, I'm killing hand. you with modifiers. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the top of the round. Anja, this thing. No, it's Merrick. It's Merrick. It's Merrick. Merrick? <laughs> All right. Riley is touching the book tablet. <laughs> uh, it looks like Bran has completed his plan of uh, using the oil uh, <coughs> as well as attempting to strike it and doing something to it. It's so you know, good. Maybe Anja was full of shit. Maybe your sword can do something. If you, <laughs> you are <laughs> maybe. <sick> Kyle. <laughs> Don't you... What? what? About to die. Don't make me look bad. <laughs> um, no, I still got my uh, uh, Tinder box out here ready with the match. <laughs> so he's just it. standing here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How much damage are you going to take from the fire, too? You know, yeah. I'm I'm right was, there. Well, I put the fire underneath his like hand slash arm. Yeah. 
Hopefully, we'll let it go. About I don't know. Ten feet of it, so hopefully he didn't. That's get true. Yeah. That's true. He's like way out. You know, we should roll another D one hundred to see how close it is. All right, I'm gonna light. I'm gonna light it. Nice. Let's go ahead. I'll do it. Go Come ahead on, don't. Uh, well, yeah, you light it. Um, Thirteen. Yes, that's give me two D six, Merrick. Nice, nice roll. Nine. The fire just kicks up right underneath its arms and it just burns its flesh and it immediately begins to catch fire, almost like the slime coating the creature is napalm. And it just (sighs) immediately lights into this burning blaze. But it still has this determination to see Anja dead. Yep. And as it screams, it howls, and these burning bits uh, uh, are does Bran, slowly crawling up to your face. Does, does Bran, Bran understand what he's screaming at me? Because he understands Aklo. It's a guttural noise. So he doesn't understand. He doesn't it. understand, but he knows it is speaking a or attempting to speak a language. Saying I hate you, mommy. (laughs) You don't always die from tobacco. (laughs) Sometimes you just lose your tongue. Oh, lovely. (laughs) That was a great ad. A great ad for a horrible thing. (laughs) Uh, So this thing is lit on fire. Black veins still are popping out and you can see it through uh, the flame as it spreads on its body. Way to go, um, Merrick. Anything else, Merrick, you would like to do? What's the rules if I want to hit it with a torch? <laughs> Improvised weapon, 1d4? I mean, you'd have oh, no, to it, it actually acts as a club. First. Yeah, it actually uh, acts as a club, and it just does, I think, 1d3 fire damage. Are you I think it's literally under torch. Simple weapons? Everybody is. Yeah, everyone can swing a torch. Uh, yeah, the torch is one hour, provides bright light, 20 feet, blah, blah, blah. If you make a melee attack with a burning torch and hit, it deals, oh, I'm sorry, one fire damage. Oh. It's going to take a little you while. You want to give it a try there, Merrick? It's still better than the zero for my swords, probably. Again, it, yeah, Andre could be just a dirty, dirty liar, because once again, physical attacks seem to be doing plenty of damage to it. <laughs> That is true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Am what I close? What kind of DM am I? <laughs> a typical <laughs> one. A typical <laughs> one that, you know, a yes. dick. I- I'm willing to find out to see if, uh, I mean, it's clearly somewhat corporeal if it's uh, got his hands around her neck. So yeah. I'm going to try to get between her and it and swipe up and see if I can chop its hands off or at least get it to release her. Sure. My swords. Mm-hmm. Swords pass right that. through it does Jack Diddley. <laughs> yeah, no, it is amusing. Fuck you, Kyle! <laughs> How dare you lead the new player astray? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, just, oh, my God. Uh, just before we get started here, you take three damage as its fingers keep digging in. and oh, It goes before me? No. You just take the damage. Off. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's fair. Um, and it's not acid; it's just bludgeoning. Damn it! <laughs> Can't do the one thing I can actually do to damage it. Uh, can I try to break free? May. Would that be a athletics check? You can give me athletics or acrobatics. Oh, uh, oh. I guess I'll give you acrobatics. It's one point better. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's a acrobatics of plus six plus that nineteen. You manage to roll your shoulders, pop yourself free. <gasps> you may be using a little bit of that slime and uh, stagger back from it. Yeah, and you are uh, free of the creature. Uh, There's that's an action burning hatred in its eyes though <coughs> i assume it's probably gonna just come and 
and hit me again. Um, yeah, I get no bonus. I mean, I mean, problem is like my bonus actions are all actions that you know slayers prey, which will add damage to the damage I can't do. So I think that's my turn. Oh, hey, wait, let me say this. You could have been wrong. Maybe bludgeoning damage would hurt the creature. I don't have any way to really bludgeon it, okay? So there. You could just punch it in the face real good. Nah. Okay. No, I well, I also just saw up close and real personal. Uh, his sword just go right through him. Oh, yeah, here's the weird thing. He feels pretty substantial to me, so he's got some sort of control over this. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's that's my turn. That's your turn. Yep. Merrick, give me a D6 roll, please. One. One. Okay. Oh, I could just con- continue to scream about the tablet, Adam. Sure. That's uh, what Riley, I Riley, did I say you went first, or was it this creature? I never remember. I, I don't think you ever said anything. I'm just okay. going whenever you say I can go. Yeah. You, Riley, turn and you've been watching this. You see as Bran strikes with his hand and actually punctures the chest of this creature. You see as Merrick sends out this bright white light that as it lights the tendrils on the floor itself retreat from it for quite a bit before they start crumbling through and this man's robes are lit on fire and it screams and you see somehow Anja escaping amidst this distraction and in a what a world what a world you watch as this creature screams dribbles and disappears into the ground oh and the creature is gone from all of your sight. Riley, you yourself see as the fires are snuffed out by the tendrils reaching in, closing over the corpse, and the corpse is sucked into the tendrils, turned into a slime that seems to add to it. Um, the rest of you just see this creature dissolve onto the floor. Riley is looking at you all with maddening looking eyes. And at this point, I will ask for the dread rolls. From everyone? <laughs> From everyone. Aww. <laughs> You three as you watch oh my god, I do not remember just being possessed by something. 23. God damn it. <laughs> I'll trade. Can I have my rule? Uh, what'd you get? Hang on. Actually. Actually, uh, I don't know. Um I rolled a 10 plus wisdom. Yeah. 12. I know it's not that. Hi. Oh yeah. Go up one. What? You didn't you save up. Anja. A level. <laughs> oh, we go up a level. Of dread? Oh, she goes up a level. Dread. I got a natural twenty, so twenty-two. You're fine too. It's <laughs> seriously a twelve. These are all bigger. just new people, and <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this this is the life of an adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a doozy of a day. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? The dark is getting to me. Maybe I'm not actually seeing this. I mean, all Merrick did was he ran up and then like held a match for a little bit and then struck the match and then swung at it. He's like, okay, it's gone now. (laughs) And Bran, what did you roll? I got another point of dread. What did you roll? Uh, So, Anja. uh, I rolled a 12. Where are you at? I don't want to say, damn it. Three, four. And four. I knew Give I was me getting... another dread saving throw. Brand, where are you this at? This is so going to fail. Two. You are okay for the moment. I'm not okay. 
I just freaking almost got strangled. Although I did it very bravely, damn it. Yeah. I'm going to fail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If a 12, unless it's a lower roll than a 12. It's the same DC as the last tread saving throw. Yeah, so no, I'm not going to make it. All right. I will just put this out there. Uh, Did you roll I think one? an appropriate Anja uh, uh, issue would be uh, she doesn't like asphyxiation. Uh, uh, blood was more the issue this go around, but that's okay. You were just double strangle to death. Uh, it, it may be touch. Touch is one of the phobias. It's true. Pick so something. Touch touch blood. Blood. Oh, said, I know. You, I know. I know they have your roll, but almost it'd be more fun if you just pick something appropriate. It's up to the GM, but I'm just throwing it out there. Give me a d20 roll, please. Oh, God. Mm. So you're going to make me roll randomly. Mm-hmm. It'll be something that totally makes no sense. You watch. Maybe. Uh, well, it's a two. I'm not sure Ooh. what that even means. Okay. Ooh. Is that good or bad? <laughs> Do you have the Say, list no, 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 no. Kyle, 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 Kyle. Same thing I said, but the opposite. <laughs> you're reading it, you cheater. It's in the book. <laughs> no, he's like, I know it's in the book, but he doesn't have to read it. <sighs> Fuck! I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. I was even gonna go on Twitter. You know, like, you know I'm right. Watch me go crazy. Okay. All right. What what happens? Uh, give me uh, odds or evens. Oh, fuck me. Why? Because it'll just be the one of his horriblest. Uh, evens. Evens? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, did you roll? No. Oh, roll. Wait, what am I rolling? <laughs> uh, wait, roll no, I rolled a D. No, I rolled a D. It's an odd die or an even. Oh, oh, no, I didn't roll that. No. <laughs> you I rolled just e- said evens. Like, I, roll- yeah, I choose that I rolled one. E- well, I rolled evens. There. <laughs> um, okay. All right. And that was <laughs> an terrifying, horrifying. Can I just pass out? Can I just fucking yeah, if you want to pass out, seven. That's fine. I know. Well, I'm only what three away from that now? I yeah, send over your character sheet. I what assume- is the chances you're gonna get it, you know, in this cavern while you search for dead bodies? Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't know. But what, what? All right. Sorry. Um, what What happens actually? In all seriousness, so dread four other than gives you an insanity. What else does it do? Uh, you are going to be staggered. The hell does? It... You drop all held items upon reaching. This oh, I have pretty much higher level of dread. You can't take bonus actions, reactions, and at the start of your turn, you must make a wisdom saving throw against the dread saves. DC, which I can never make. Level by one. Wait, what? At the beginning of my turn, I make another saving throw. Oh yeah, sure. Really? Wait, you have to get to four to be able to do that? I think we are actually going to. That's weird. Play this as the continuing for the corpses. The blood, the bodies. Yeah. You are not at that moment dread. However, if you encounter another such sense, we're going to start you at four. Um, and then you'll make that wisdom saving throw at the very beginning to drop down to three potentially. And that's oh, only if you actually you... encounter a combat in the next hour or so, because you automatically drop down a level. Uh, once you have time to kind of comprehend, not comprehend, but uh, uh, to ease your mind a little bit. That's a problem. There's been no chance in this place to do that at all. So, so wait, wait, wait. All right. So I'm going to do what? I'm taking a short rest or something? And No. No. Well, that might actually depend on the next thing. Uh, Riley, you see all this. Your hand That's is true. still on the tablet. It wants more. You can give uh, it more if you want. Uh, the three of you, you just see Riley standing there with his hand on the tablet, looking horrifyingly. It wants you. more? It wants more? All right, same again. Six or higher. 
Not three. I stopped there. Okay. But you said that the walls were covered in writings and etchings. What did they say for the most part? Eyes of the Rune Keeper. I can read all writing. (laughs) (laughs) As your hand is on there and you decide not to give it more power, the images start to dwindle and disappear. But the images you do see, and you kind of, you have keen mind, as I remember, and the images you have seen are just these obsessive fealty cries to Ubo, Sothla, formulas of trying to get its attention, trying to give it more to feed it and in so doing also receive his blessing and it's just these mad scribbles and writing and that's kind of what you're making your dread save throw because this is clearly someone who was well I mean this is my patron I don't know how dreadful this is (laughs) Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually quite inspiring. <laughs> it's like being an alcoholic and then watching <laughs> someone chug, you know, bottle after bottle of bourbon and, you know, 10 seconds flat. And it's like, oh, I'm on a level, but I'm not on that level. And not so, yeah, yet. that's impressive. It's like, wow, this guy is amazing. Yeah, and after a while, as you don't give in to uh, uh, the sacrifice, you appear back into the room as it was. Clear the stones that Anja had pushed over are actually moved over. Whether anyone has actually noticed that in the time, the oil has burnt out far quicker than one would expect it this is like a a temple is this an altar that this was on like this is do i like figure this out no Uh, runes in the floor um i will move over to riley very quickly and i wish to basically forcefully take him and place him against the wall Riley is confused by this. Do you want me to make a roll, or does this just happen? I mean, Riley is confused by this, so I'm not going to really yeah, fight so, it. Sounds like it happens. I will push him up against the wall, my hand up against his chest, my mask right towards his nose. What did you do? Uh, I, I, I was curious on what this creature was interested in you were curious yeah your curiosity nearly killed us i mean anja seems mostly fine anja is injured you can tell anja's not fine but i i thought you healed her you could tell she's not fine in other ways i'm sure your obsession will kill us all i do not really care too much how you die. Everyone dies. But if you blatantly cause the death of others, that is an issue. Control yourself. At that point, I will move over to the tablet. Does it look like it can be removed from the pulpit? I have it in my hand still. I moved you away. If so, then I will try to forcefully rip it from your hand. You want to start a fight? You you know what? I roll am if necessary. A, you asked for this. At, roll a hundred, Riley. Okay. Ninety-one. When you were ripped away, uh, you did not hold on to the tablet, so it is still on the pulpit. Bran, as you try to remove said tablet, 
it is immovable. Okay. I just wanted to check. Mm-hmm. It seems this cannot be moved from here. Oh, well, that's fair. Riley, if you wish to stay, that is up to you. For the rest of us, and I look at Anja specifically, who's clearly taking a bit of a... Well, actually, shall, can I roll a medicine to see her how she is, both physically and potentially emotionally? I'm, I basically... S- I keep trying to think there's like a wall behind me, but there isn't. I find something that will basically lean against, and I you know, just slide, so I'm sitting on the floor, and I put my head in my hands, because... Today has just been too much. I will move over to her then and prop her up. I will look at Marcus. Marcus. No, it, Merrick. I'm sorry, Merrick. I apologize. <laughs> Merrick, do you have any idea where we should go from here? Um, you said the room, though, the only entrance or exit that looked like it was usable was the one we came in, right? Uh, no, there were other paths. Um, and if you take a look around the room, you see no exits from this room. Unless, as I told Anja before, you want to strip down, start naked in your skivvy, right. crawl through a hole. <laughs> yeah, start don't... walking backwards, and you realize Shit. with the light, with the stone in your hand now, it's obvious that the ghouls went a completely different direction <laughs> and turned off just before. You're... This is on you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to assess Anja's condition to see if she can continue. You can I? That's a good question. I'm staggered, right? Sure. You can still move. Give but yourself I'm... like a little break if you want to take a short rest here, guys. <laughs> that would probably be the thing to do. So I that... would probably do it. Out... I'm going to suggest we do it outside the room. We don't know what might happen in this room. Yeah, he could come back. It's possible. We don't know what it was. If you the thing, if I guess if you look at Andre close enough, also you see she is shaking. Um. Yeah, I need I need a few. All right. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be here. But Let's I move need just like somewhere. between this part and the next cave that we'd go down. Hopefully, the ghouls tend to avoid this section. Sure. Um, oh, I'm sorry. One more time. I just had a brain fart, and I said yes to a question I didn't actually hear. Uh, to a place to rest, I'd like to find a place between this uh, room and the other cave, like the other hallway we would go down, because my my thinking is the ghouls probably don't go towards this room, avoiding whatever this thing is. Yeah, um, this room would probably be your best bet for a rest without encountering a ghoul. <laughs> Unfortunately, Um, because there is, uh, we discussed earlier, as far as a long rest would go, you need three things, you know, comfort, security, or uh, an overwhelming sense of calm. We need to leave the caves. Certainly not getting those things here. I mean, I think it's quite nice here. <laughs> One of you might get a good long rest. Yeah, but you know, but 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 I mean, I, I'm not even sure. I don't think I can. I don't judge for there all this. Spot... I don't think Aja can stay in this. this yeah, room. was there any place within the caves that we've seen, like niches or whatnot, that seem a little bit out of the way? I mean, there was the one little area where those sailor skeletons tried to build that barricade that seemed that's pretty... A pretty far back. That's pretty far back, though. No, it's past the maze. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. What if um you can find um if you were to go back into the maze a little bit? Yeah. You could that's find what I was thinking. An alcove, you could find a place to rest on. Um, what about 
uh, these entrances that were kind of closed off. Uh, the ones that are in this room from the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, actually, Merrick can easily answer that question for you as he looks down at his map and realizes actually right across this wall here you could probably find the last stand of the sailors. Very so, well, I will begin so working. <laughs> you begin working? Yes, clear the, we're moving I it. make it seem like it's a... a you're right across, about 33 feet long through line. stone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are talking uh, about 30 feet of collapsed stone. <sighs> All right. Yeah, yeah then I but guess if the you niche. wanted to go, like I'm getting just the hell out of here, no matter what. I don't want to go far. Just, just all right. Yeah, just we'll we'll niche. go to like a niche then. Okay. Something defensible. Yeah. Um, before we leave, I I use my Eldritch Sight to see cast Detect Magic really quick. See if there's anything else of interest in this room. The biggest thing appears to be that tablet. Really want it. I almost want to know. I mean, I mean, a oh, so Bran was the one who tried to move it and he couldn't move it, but could I potentially move it? That's how your tablet works. Maybe it's like, uh, can I connect it to my tablet? <laughs> I, I, Do you I'm trying. Just, yeah, I'm just going to experiment a little bit. You place your tablet next to the other one. And the other one crumbles and falls into dust. You get the info. Yes. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna start fiddling with my tablet now. Tablet. <laughs> right now. <laughs> we'll okay. leave him to it. Sure. But I, I will say to Bran, I go, you know, I am, you, you're not wrong, but something tells me whatever that tablet was for and whatever that thing was trying to do, it probably wasn't necessarily a good thing. And finding out about what it is is probably important. That's why I didn't try to stop him. Sometimes knowing too much is bad. Oh, we are no. simply mortals. That's for friggin' sure. That's, I'm assuming I'm talking to Anja. Totally wrong. I'm, I'm assuming I'm talking to Anja kind of privately at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm too say, distracted. I don't hear this. Yeah, that's yeah, no, true. We're, um, we're walking I simply say mortals are mortals. There are creatures that are beyond us. They know things that we can never comprehend. Mortals or immortals? No, mortals are what we are. Oh. Other creures can often know things that we can never comprehend. Trying just, to understand it is simply unattainable. I just want to know if it's a threat to all of us. I, think I would that say is, yes. That's important. I mean, that would be my guess. That thing was not nice. Do you have any clue what the hell it was yelling? It was speaking Aklo. But you didn't know. But I could not understand its speech. I can only understand yeah. that it was speaking of the aqua. Kyle, when yes. I had my hand on the tablet, I could hear it clearly say Ubo Sathel, at least. Was it not garbled up when I was doing that? It was when I saw it in its red rum form? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I, I also, in my little tablet, write down what it said phonetically while it's still mm -hmm. fresh in my mind. Sure. Just so I can cross-reference that later. <laughs> So Merrick, what are you thinking about all this? This is, whew, this is heavy stuff, man. Very I'm heavy. I'm just watching guard for more ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> this this is way above my pay grade. Oh uh, yes, I will actually try to tend to Anja for this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to tend to Anja. Maybe make her something medical wise to calm her down. If necessary, I'll use a uh, uh, a point of my uh, healer's kit. In fact, I'll probably actually heal her anyways. Get that healed up. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm down a few. I'm down. A yeah, I'm down a few. It's fine. We'll 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 patch you up. Mm. It was worth it though. To you know what? It was worth it. You guys, you guys did really well. I'm glad I distracted it. 
So I'm pretty sure you, back. you guys kind of um, two come together for a moment to oh my gosh, uh, uh, kind of recover a little bit. Uh, Riley is <laughs> obsessing over his tablet once again. I don't know, perhaps these just spirits are renewed from finding this room in this dark place while the others look for a place to rest. And just to be clear, we are looking to do a long rest, yes? No. No, short. No, we're only doing short, short rest. Oh, okay. So right. I could collect myself, I guess. So yeah. maybe I could get rid of this dagger. Because that, you know. You're that... back down to three. I'm back to three. All right. So I don't actually pick up any. Oh, you get 10 hit points back. What does and the... any helpful effects that happen, which I'm probably assuming. Yes. Okay. No, which I'm assuming it's the dread going back down to three. I am back to full. Mm-hmm. Which is more than I've been at any other point. Yeah. Um, so at this point, you take the long rest, Do short. You... short rest. Do you continue on or do you go back? Continue. We haven't found the people yet. Okay. Or at least not evidence of them. You start walking through and you come across a point where, Merrick, you are going to be able to fit through fine. These big guys are going to have to squeeze through. And as you, you know, kind of direct them to that direction, Ooh, I'd have to double check. But Bran, I'll say Bran, Anja, Merrick, you guys, Anja and Merrick being up close to it. Bran being far away, but fucking a servant. You hear noises on the other side of this crack. And we will stop there for tonight. Uh, I would like uh, this session to be a wonderful milestone. Uh, uh, we have driven the player insane. Um, <laughs> you haven't yet to tell me what wait, it is, though. Is Aunt the right. insane one? I'm just yeah. to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> officially, yes. officially. Okay, hey, I, I missed. The, I didn't. I didn't you're, make you're the save. You're gone already, Riley. You're, you're going down a hole. That's... But wait, you never told me what the nature of it is. It'll be a yes. surprise. Um, we'll, we'll find out when the situation have comes. To tune in next time. God damn guys. it! <laughs> Everybody, wave at the camera. Say good night. Right, well, I'll get the info out of him off the screen. Good night. <laughs>